everyone, welcome back to my channel, Mokes World. This is vlog number three. For today's vlog, I will have an interview with Mr. International Thailand. We will be talking about our Mr. International journey. In doing so, I will be writing some questions in this paper about Mr. International. What is Mr. International? Mr. International is a world beauty pageant. What does it mean, a pageant? A pageant means a beauty contest every winner of every country can represent his country in the world final. In this case, a Mr. International. I'll see Nick in a bit. Are you excited? I'm done. Okay. I need 30 questions for the 30th edition of Mr. International. Okay, we had a very great time in Mr. International, yeah. now we have more time and I will work with this dude. <laughs> I will show him around in Bangkok. How so was your flight yesterday? Yesterday, good. From Chiang Mai to Bangkok. I was just on vacation in Chiang Mai, I eat a lot, <laughs> gain a lot, uh, no one back. So today we will have a vlog, if you don't have problems with it, no, if you don't mind, get let's it. do it. <laughs> Now we are here, our guest for today is Mr. International Thailand, Nick. Swati up everybody. Yeah, my name is Nick. Uh, I'm Mr. International Thailand 2018. I'm glad that I finally meet my friend Hamdi here in Bangkok. I can't wait to show you around in Bangkok and I, yeah, I, I can't wait to show you around. And uh, I'm excited like how, how, you, how you like it here, how you like the, the culture, the people. I like Looking it very much. To. I like it very much. I want to stay here. <laughs> So Nick, what will happen now? Yeah. You can take a question, and you ask me the question, I will answer. Okay, okay. So I start. And then I do the same. Okay. <laughs> what is your favorite food in the Philippines? <laughs> Actually, oh my god, that's a difficult question because there is a lot of delicious food. But my favorite food is... Pancit. Yeah, really? it's pancit. I like it the most. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought I would like empanada. I'm an empanada fan. <laughs> You're an empanada fan. I'm an empanada fan. Okay. It's my turn. Are you excited, Nick? Let's go. Let's <laughs> go. Take a good one. What is your message to your fans, supporters? Uh, well, my message is uh, thank you so much first uh, for all the love we received during the competition. This was crazy for myself. Before the competition, I get so many messages still. I gained like 16,000 followers in just 10 days <laughs> just from the competition. And now it's uh, in Bangkok, it's a little bit quiet, but uh, I go back to the Philippines soon and can't wait to see you all again and take pictures with you. Philippine supporters are amazing, man. Yeah. <laughs> they are really crazy and lovely. What is your most unforgettable experience in the Miss International pageant? My most unforgettable experience, it was on the stage, on the final, when I was on the stage, in the front of the stage, I saw people screaming, Belgium, Belgium. <laughs> I don't know that people at all, 
and it felt it touched my heart because you don't know that people they are supporting so hard yeah yeah i can't forget it yeah. it's, it's amazing it was an amazing feeling really i i had the same feeling yeah it wasn't a new feeling i never felt before it was like you are in the front of the stage, yeah. they are screaming your exactly. country, you don't know them. Yeah, yeah and, uh, it's nice. It was nice. Also, for me, it was the first time on the stage ever, so it was like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, nice. Brum, 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 brum. Who is your best supporter in the pageant? Oh, too many. <laughs> I was really We close. all have one very hard supporter. Supporter? Like you mean like a... Extreme supporter. Supporter... I think Mr. Australia. Mr. Australia. He helped me a lot to give me advices. Every time when I was struggling with my suit or my tie, he came and helped me. Yeah, he helped me a lot. Harrison. Harrison! <laughs> Name three person who you, who you would like to say thank you. To be honest, the man behind the scenes now, Gabby <laughs> Benitez, he supports me very, very hard every single moment. And my national director from the Netherlands during the pageant, Ryan, he was so good with me. He supports me also a lot. And then I have the third person and that's my mother. She always call me during the pageant and say, is everything okay? I believe in you, you will be the winner. I was not, <laughs> but I tried to be the winner. <laughs> You're doing this with your head. <laughs> oh, Nick. Why did you join Mr. International Pageant? <laughs> uh, good question. Um, yeah, I like I said, I never did this like, pageant before, and uh, it looked interesting on the on the pictures, on the video from last year. So for myself, I like to step out of comfort zone, do something new I've never did before. So that was the reason. And before, I have like no idea what is a pageant about, what is important, what I have to do. So I just did it, and uh, I don't regret. It was like the best experience of my life. I'm so glad that you came because of you. <laughs> it, was, it was a good time because of you, man. <laughs> Thank you. What, what is your message, message to the winner of Mr. National? Wow. My message to the winner of Mr. International. I think, I hope, my brother here remember what I said. Did you remember when I told you that Mr. Vietnam and you are the most <laughs> handsome guys I have ever seen, Asian guys. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Like. So, in my opinion, he really deserved that because yeah. he's also very friendly, you yes. know that? Yes. And yeah, he, he's, he's handsome. Yeah. And if someone say like you don't deserve that, blah, 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 no, I don't think so. Be honest. He really deserved that to win the uh, title. And I think uh, many people, like when I read comments, they say like this guy deserves to win, this guy deserves to win. But for me, in my opinion, no one can judge who deserves to win except like us who went uh, to the pageant and know everyone. And for me, he deserves to win. Like, look on his pictures, look on every picture, and every picture, his face is like perfect. You don't even pose. His face is like outstanding. His smile. Yeah, his true, eyes. true. Even he didn't pose or something. So he deserves to win. True. Have a nice journey, man. <laughs> Good luck, pal. What can you say about the sexual harassment issues to the contestants of Mr. International? <laughs> uh, like I said on IG before, uh, for me, Nothing happened to me. Um, I didn't see anything. Like when we were backstage on the makeup, um, I don't know. Maybe best of people, Asian people, have different feelings about that. Uh, for me, it's normal when we are like backstage and the, the hairdresser or the makeup they, they help you, like with the underwear, for example. Like for me, it's normal. Like it's not a big deal. But 
maybe other people have a different kind of sense for that, um, but like sexual harassment, I, I didn't see and didn't happen to me. What can you say about Alan Sim? <laughs> Alan Sim, Bobo <Bye> Hai. <laughs> Alan Sim, to me, or I guess to all of the candidates I saw it, he's kind of quiet person. He don't say a lot, but he enjoy his moments. I see he's getting always fun and he enjoy his moments, yeah. But it's a kind person. Yeah, it's yeah. a kind person. What is your message <laughs> to Pawi and Tura? To Pawi? Uh, I didn't talk that much to him, um, but he's a, he's a friendly guy for me. Um, he likes to take pictures. <laughs> So when I'm back, Pavi, I uh, hope to see you again, take some pictures again, and yeah. I, I cannot tell so much about him, but uh, he's a nice guy, a friendly guy to me, and uh, I can't say anything negative about him. Yeah. Pavi, don't listen to the people, what they are saying, just stay positive. Yeah. <laughs> Who is your best friend in the Mr. National Pageant? Actually, it's not because you are here, <laughs> oh. <laughs> but Nick and my roommate Bolivia are the best guys. That's my opinion. Are the thank best you. guys from Mr. International. Uh, thank you. Thank not you. just Nick, also Bolivia, because if the pageant is done. During the pageant, you see the guys, you see everyone, and everyone is nice to you. But yeah. you, you can see who's really your yeah, friend yeah. after the pageant. If the pageant is done, and they still sending you, and then it feels like real friends. And Bolivia is doing it the whole time. So <laughs> after the pageant also. So that's a really good guy. He's a funny guy. <laughs> I can do a lot of brum 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 because that's the last two questions. <laughs> do you think Mr. International Pageant is a money contest? Mm, well, at the end, I know it's all business, right? And you have to think about all the expenses uh, for pets, for the organizers, for the sponsors, for the stage, transportation. Um, so. For me, I didn't join because of the money or something, I joined for the experience and at the end uh, you should join for the experience and the opportunities you get, I mean for me I get lots of opportunities even I didn't win, uh, but I understand like at the end it's about selling Mercy International, selling the person to uh, get some money back uh, for the competition, so I wouldn't say it's a, it's, it's a money pageant, but of course money is a big role. Uh, for this competition. So, last question for you. <laughs> what are you Let's doing? It's the last question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you still plan to join other international pageants? But to be honest, I was a little bit shocked because of the results, and it gave me the feeling to stay out of the pageants. But I think if opportunities knocks, why not? Just give it a chance. Yeah. For me, uh, for example, like after I finished the pageant, it was like, okay, uh, no, not anymore. And I also wanted to keep this uh, special experience like special, like once a lifetime with uh, my brothers. But at the same time, I was like, it's a good opportunity for me uh, to be more known in this business and I also like, I like the experience and maybe I want to have the same, the same feeling so at the moment I don't know if I should join or not. Honestly, I didn't have like research about other pageants. I know like Mr. Supernational is quite big, uh, Man of the World and Mr. World. Manhunt. But, uh, I don't know like what's different so... If it's, I, it's actually the oldest and biggest one. If I really want to join uh, I have to do more research first and how to enter. 
but I don't know yet. Let's see. In this video, we have seen the importance of the following. First, communication. It's nice to have a good conversation with your friends. For example, Nick, we used to be friends in Mr. International and we have a good communication. Second, appreciation. We need to appreciate every support from everyone. The last thing, the third one, honesty. Honesty is the best policy. You have to be honest to yourself and to others. That ends our vlog for today. Thank you, Nick, for joining my vlog. Welcome, welcome. Just like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel, Mahooks World. You can also follow me on Facebook and on Instagram. You can also follow Nick on Instagram. Yeah, if you're interested in my person, you can follow my IG. It's NCK6077. Peeps, thanks for watching. Andy loves you all. Kapunka. <laughs>